Man, am I really loving the Switch X right now. I love it so much, in fact, that I have five different elemental builds that I have been using on my hunts recently, and I've been getting some pretty good clear times. These are going to be builds for water, fire, thunder, ice, and dragon. I'm not touching any ailments or anything like that today, so you're going to want to be subscribed for those sets in the future. So without further ado, let's take a look at these sets. Let's take a look at the switch skills I'm using. I'm not going to do a switch skill comparison because if you saw my last insect clay video, that kind of backfired and I had to upload a new video kind of going back over my thoughts of the switch skills. So I'm just going to show you what I got. I'll tell you why I have them and then we'll move on from there. In the red scroll, I am using forward slash, finishing discharge, two stage morph slash combo, soaring wyvern blade, and elemental burst counter. The blue scroll is basically the exact same thing, but for the fourth slot, you want to switch Invincible Gambit in. I have Soaring Wyvern Blade in the red swap scroll because it's really nice after you finish those finishing discharge bursts. It sends you out flying, and if you have enough sword gauge left, you can wire bug and dive back in to set an extra file on the monster. In times where I'm not really getting a lot of finishing discharges off, or if the monster's being a real butt and I just need to, like, move around him, I will swap to my blue scroll and that's going to give me the invincible gambit, which is a better skill I would say for mobility and things like that. But other than that, my core loop is going to be counter, finishing discharge, burst off, come back with the soaring wyvern blade, spam A for some either wild charges or sword hits. After a couple hits, hit R2 for the two stage morph slash combo, get some sword gauge back up. Boom, go for some more finishing discharges, rinse and repeat. So let's take a look at the sets themselves for fire, water, ice, and thunder. They're going to be basically the same. And you might be like, whoa, thunder's the same? Yeah, I did try the Narwa set. It just didn't feel as good to me. You might be getting more thunder damage a little bit. But I would rather have skills that I'm used to working with instead of a whole bunch of extra stuff that I don't really need. Also, the slots aren't that great, so I opted not to use Narwa. For the weapon, I am using Narwa. But my favorite set is actually going to be the dragon one, and we'll go into that one a little bit later. There are timestamps, so you can use those to skip around as well. First up is going to be our water set with the Voidbringer Axe. This is the Almadron Switch Axe. It comes with a very nice 74 water element, a 2 slot, a 1 slot, and a level 3 rampage slot, and of course the element file. Every single one of these switch axes will be the element file variant. For the slots, we are using Tenderizer Jewel and Brace Jewel, and of course the Anti-Dragon Jewel, or you can slot in whenever you want there. This can fit the Switcher Jewel. I don't know what that does exactly. If it does something really cool, let me know down in the comments, and I'll switch back to that. But I like the extra damage from the Anti-Dragon Jewel, Anti-Aquatic Jewel, all that, so I just kind of swap for the hunt. The helm for these sets is going to be the Astalos Helm, which comes with Chain Crit Level 1, Sun Resistance Level 2, a 4 slot, a 2 slot, and a 1 slot. We're filling those with the Wirebug Jewel 4, the Tinderizer Jewel, and the Hungerless Jewel, so that'll give us 2 levels of Wirebug Whisperer, 1 Weakness Exploit, and 1 Hunger Resistance. You'll notice this 1 slot here that I use, I kind of swap it around. It'll be between Hunger Resistance, Recovery, and I believe Grinder. So you can do what you want there. Our chest piece is going to be the Archfiend Armor Ballo. This is the Geisma Gorm chest piece. It comes with Weakness Exploit Level 1, Resentment Level 1, a Level 3 Deco, a Level 2 Deco, which we are going to be filling with the Hard Stream Jewel Level 3, and the Crit Element Jewel Level 2, which will give us 3 levels of Water Attack and 1 level of Crit Element. Up next, we have the Storage Van Braces, which are the Shigeru Magala arms these come with two levels of critical element one level of resuscitate and a level four deco slot which i have an earplug jewel in i find it helps a little bit with those finishing discharges but you could honestly move something around maybe put in some attack here you'll see that this set only has attack level two so you could swap this and maybe evade extender that i have later on for some attack level four and get that bonus that's up to you there the waste is going to be the Rathalos Coil, which comes with two levels of attack boost, full windproof, which is kind of nice, critical boost level one, and a two slot, which we are going to be filling with that evade extender. 
And finally, we have the Rajong Boots. These will give us Critical Boost level 2, Latent Power level 1, Flinch Free level 2, and 3 level 1 slots, which we are going to be using for 2 Stream Jewels and a Steadfast Jewel. This will give us 2 levels of Water Attack and 1 level of Sun Resistance. And the Talisman is probably where you're going to hate me, friends. I pulled a Rapid Morph level 3 and Slugger level 2 with a 3 slot and a 1 slot. But I have made this build so you could basically just use any Rapid Morph level 3. The defense boost in the slot there as well as the Hungerless Jewel is not really necessary. And Slugger is just kind of nice. You can get some stuns with Switch Axe but it is definitely not mandatory. So like I said, if you can find a level 3 Rapid Morph Talisman or any Talisman that you can slot Rapid Morph into to boost it up to level 3, you should be good and you'll be able to match my build for the most part, at least in terms of its damage effectiveness. So looking at everything, we have Water Attack level 5, Crit Boost level 3, Weakness Exploit level 3, Critical Element level 3, Defense Boost level 3, level 3 Windproof, Sun Resistance level 3, Flinch Free level 3, Rapid Morph level 3, Attack Boost level 2, Slugger level 2, Earplugs level 2, Hunger Resistance level 2, Wirebug Whisperer level 2, Chain Crit level 2, Resentment level 1, Resuscitate level 1, Latent Power level 1, and Evade Extender level 1. Like I said, there are some wiggle room for some slots in this set. The first recommendation I would make is maybe swap out Earplugs and defense boost for some attack boost level four i actually might do that myself and i already know it's just gonna do slightly more damage right so that's totally something you could do there now we'll go ahead and look at the fire set which is like i said basically the exact same thing i'll just show you what weapon i'm using and then show you what the skills look like because you are gonna have to move the decos around a little bit in order to accommodate the different slots on the weapons so we are using the Volcanic Switch, which is the Magmadron Switch Axe. I swear, this thing is just like a Switch Axe monster. Like, they made this monster just for the Switch Axe. Well, Amadron and Magmadron. You know what I mean. Anyway, we are using the 3 slot there for the Hard Blaze Jewel 3. And we are using the Anti-Dragon Level 2. Unless, of course, in the comments you guys can convince me that the Switcher Jewel is actually the better option here. In which case, I will definitely go with that option. So for the Fire Set, we are looking at Fire Attack Level 5, Crit Boost Level 3, Weakness Exploit Level 3, Critical Element Level 3, Defense Boost Level 3, Windproof Level 3, Sun Resistance Level 3, Flinch Free Level 3, Rapid Morph Level 3, Attack Boost 2, Slugger 2, Earplugs 2, Wirebug Whisperer 2, Chain Crit 2, Resentment 1, Resuscitate 1, Latent Power 1, Recovery Speed 1, and Evade Extender 1. Like I said, you can move around those earplugs and possibly that Defense Boost Jewel to get yourself some Attack Boost Level 4 on this set. For the Ice Switch Axe, we are using the Split Ear Weiss, which is the Legombi Switch Axe. I'm honestly kind of excited to use this. I've never used a Legombi weapon. It was kind of cool to see this was the highest ice element Switch Axe with the element file. It has 54 ice, comes up with a nice 330 raw, a level 3 jewel, a level 1 jewel, and a level 3 rampage jewel. We are using the Hard Frost Jewel 3 here, as well as the Frost Jewel 1. That will give us four levels of ice attack just from the Switch Axe. And of course, the Anti-Dragon Jewel. So after you've moved everything around, your Ice Switch Axe build should look like this with five levels of Ice Attack, three levels of Critical Boost, three levels of Weakness Exploit, three levels of Critical Element, three levels of Defense Boost, three levels of Windproof, level three Stun Resistance, Max Flinch Free, Max Rapid Morph, level two Attack Boost, level two Slugger, level two Earplugs, level two Hunger Resistance, level two Wirebug Whisperer, level two Chain Crit, level one Resentment, Level 1 Resuscitate, Level 1 Latent Power, and Level 1 Evade Extender. And I've already went over this, but just for the formalities, the Thunder Weapon we are going to be using is the Narwa Thunderclap. This has 74 Thunder, as well as that Element File. And this one only has a Level 2 Rampage slot, so the Anti-Dragon Jewel or whatever you're fighting is going to be the best jewel for this Switch Axe. You are going to have less skills on this build, but just barely. Like I said, there was some wiggle room in the past one. So we have Thunder Attack Level 5, Crit Boost Max, Weakness Exploit Max, Critical Element Max, Windproof Max, 
Sun Resistance Max, Flinch Free Max, Rapid Morph Max, Attack Boost Level 2, Slugger Level 2, Earplugs Level 2, Wirebug Whisperer Level 2, Level 2 Chain Crit, Level 1 Resentment, Level 1 Resuscitate, Level 1 Latent Power, Level 1 Evade Extender, and Level 1 Speed Sharpening. And finally, my favorite build out of all of these, this one hits like a hurricane, dude. I swear, this dragon build just freaking demolishes. You are gonna want to try this build out, I promise. For this, we are using the Calamitous Axe, which is the Death Stench Tree. And from my testing, this is better than the Valstrax Switch Axe. It has more element and it just feels better throughout the hunt. You do have to worry about sharpening, but I think that's a sacrifice we're all willing to make because we've been doing it for like 20 years. So I'm not gonna go over each piece individually because it's just all Valstrax. We are using my level three Rapid Morph Talisman. This one, the slots are a little more important because Valstrax isn't as flexible with the gems. So if you can get a level three Rapid Morph with a level two slot and a level one slot, you are gonna be able to replicate this build pretty much to be the exact same as mine. But in the Valstrax Helm, we are slotting the Earplug Jewel, a Brace Jewel, and a Steadfast Jewel. In the Valstrax Mail, we are slotting the Wirebug Jewel and a Dragon Jewel. In the Valstrax Braces, we are slotting the Crit Element 4 Jewel, which gives us two stages of that Crit Element. In the Coil, we are slotting the Crit Element 2 and the Dragon Jewel 1. In the Greaves, we are putting in Hard Dragon Jewel 3, as well as Steadfast Jewel 1. And for the Talisman, we're slotting in Crit Jewel 2, as well as Steadfast Jewel 1. This will give you Resentment Level 5, Dragon Attack Level 5, Dragon Heart Level 5, Resuscitate Level 3, Critical Boost Level 3, Weakness Exploit Level 3, Critical Element Level 3, Stun Resistance Level 3, Rapid Morph Level 3, Slugger Level 2, Earplugs Level 2, Wirebug Whisper Level 2, and Flinch Free Level 1. Like I said, this set is incredible. You are going to have to keep your health under that 80% threshold, but that is worth it. Your resistances go up to 50 with Dragonheart, as well as you gain 10% attack power. This is my favorite set to beat monsters with at the moment, and holy crap, I have so much fun with it. But anyway, that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for coming to watch this video. If you try out any of these sets, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If there are any tweaks you would make to it, let me know as well. I'm always open to feedback because I do want to maximize this damage. If you're new here, welcome and please consider subscribing. I have more Monster Hunter videos planned, and hopefully you're around for them. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you with some Switch Axe build ideas, please give it a thumbs up because that helps so much. I do stream every single night over at twitch.tv slash precision. So come join the lobby if you ever want to hunt with me. Once again, thank you all so much. Good luck grinding those afflicted mods for those augmented sets. And I will see you in the next one.